Trey is planning to build a rectangular raised garden in his backyard. He has 14 feet of plastic edging that he wants to use to build the perimeter of the garden. He knows that the literal equation for the perimeter of a rectangle is P equals 2L plus 2W, where P equals the perimeter, L equals the length, and W equals the width. But he is having trouble figuring out what length and width he should make the garden if he wants to use all of the plastic edging. Help Trey find out the answer by completing the following steps. So first, Trey knows he has 14 feet of plastic edging to use for the perimeter. He rewrites the equation as 14 equals 2L plus 2W. Notice how here he substituted 14 for P in the perimeter equation given above. So now he has the equation 14 equals 2L plus 2W. The first step is to solve this equation for W. Let's go ahead and do this below. So we have the equation 14 equals 2L plus 2W. And our goal here is to solve the equation for W. So our first step is to isolate the W term. To do this, we'll subtract 2L on both sides of the equation. Notice on the left side we have 14 minus 2L. And now on the right side, this is zero, so we have 14 minus 2L equals 2W. 2W means two times W. So to undo this multiplication and solve the equation for W, we'll divide both sides by two. Now on the left side, because we're dividing by a single term or a monomial, we can write this as two separate fractions. We can write this as 14 divided by two minus 2L divided by two equals, on the right side, notice two divided by two simplifies the one, so we have just W. But now looking back at the left side, notice how we can simplify these fractions. 14 divided by two equals seven minus two divided by two simplifies the one. So we just have seven minus L equals W. So for step one, again we have W equals seven minus L. Now for step two, we want to use this new equation to complete the following table. Notice how the table gives us various lengths, which is L. We want to find W the width. So when the length is three, we know L equals three. So W is equal to seven minus three, which is equal to four. So this tells us one possible dimension of the garden. It could be three feet by four feet. Next, the length is four feet, then L is four. So we'd have W equals seven minus four, which is equal to three, which means the garden could also be four feet by three feet, but notice how this is the same as three feet by four feet, though the orientation of the garden might be different. The length is five feet, L is five, so we have W equals seven minus five, which equals two. So the length is five feet, the width would be two feet, and then finally, when the length is six feet, L is six, so we have W equals seven minus six, which equals one. So if the length is six feet, the width must be one foot. Again, if all 14 feet of the edging is used. Okay, that's it for this question. I hope you found this helpful.